The Fourier transform is one of the most important algorithms in mathematics, engineering, physics, communications, technology, and so on. Nearly every device you own, ranging from your cell phone to your TV, implements the Fourier transform. And every advanced course in differential equations, physics, electronics, engineering, mathematics requires you to learn about the Fourier transform. But despite the hugely important practical applications, the Fourier transform is often presented in a very abstract and theoretical way. This leaves many people puzzled about the fundamental features of the Fourier transform. Plus, nowadays, it's more important to understand the discrete Fourier transform, which is how the Fourier transform is implemented in digital devices. That brings about a host of subtle but important details, such as sampling, spectral resolution, zero padding, effects of signal non-stationarities, aliasing, and so on. These are important aspects of the Fourier transform to understand, but those aspects are either difficult or impossible to understand just from looking at integral equations like this. My goal for this course is to present the Fourier transform in an approachable way. I rely heavily on pictures and examples to illustrate the concepts, while also presenting the important math and going through a lot of code. Altogether, you will really learn a lot about the Fourier transform, not just enough to talk about it at parties. If you've watched my other courses, then you know that I use MATLAB as a tool to facilitate comprehension and visualization. And I use MATLAB as a way to present practical applications of how to implement the Fourier transform and interpret the results of the Fourier transform. And this is not just about some gimmicky point-and-click applet or some other eye-catching graphic. The point is that the mechanics of the analysis are in the code, and by examining and understanding the code, you can adapt it and change it, you can simulate data to run through the code, you can apply your own data to the code, and that will really give you a deep understanding of how the Fourier transform works in a way that just looking at equations and pictures won't help. I also provide Python code as well, because I want you to learn the Fourier transform in whatever programming language you know best. It doesn't matter whether you follow along in MATLAB or in Python. Here's a quick example. What does the power spectrum of this function look like? If this were an advanced mathematics course, and if I were a disinterested teacher with no sympathy for my students, I would expect you to tell me that the Fourier transform is obtained by solving this integration problem. Maybe I'd have you sketch the power spectrum of this function by computing derivatives and second derivatives, finding positive and negative regions, critical points, inflection points, and so on. And actually, this is a trick problem because there is no closed form solution. There's no analytic solution to this function. But this is not your typical calculus course, and I'm not some cranky old dinosaur professor who wouldn't even notice if half the class didn't show up. So here is my answer. First, before even thinking about the Fourier transform, you need to see this equation and think about what it means. And by see the equation, I don't mean looking at the letters and the numbers. I mean inspect the graph of this equation and figure out what this function means in the time domain. I would use a computer to implement this equation, compute and plot the power spectrum, and inspect the power spectrum along with the time domain signal and along with the equations. And now everything makes sense when I see this equation. I have a visual, intuitive sense of what this equation looks like, why it's important, and what to do with it. And I can see from the power spectrum what are the important features of this signal and what are the less important features of this signal. And when you look at these kinds of graphs enough, then you will start to see these kinds of equations in terms of graphs instead of in terms of letters and numbers. If you think this style of learning is interesting, if you think it will help you in your courses or in your research, or if you're just curious to learn more about one of the single most important equations in all of modern human technology, then this course is for you. If you want to learn more about my teaching style and my teaching philosophy, then I invite you to watch the free course preview for my MATLAB programming course. In addition to the video lectures, there is a PDF course reader for each section in this course. The reader highlights the key points from the videos 
and sometimes I include additional information in the reader. There are also exercises at the end of the reader and my solutions that will help you gain more expertise and familiarity with the topics covered in the videos. I use MATLAB and Python heavily in this course. I believe that programming is an incredibly powerful but underutilized resource for learning concepts in mathematics, and engineering, and signal processing. I have almost two decades of experience teaching data analysis, signal processing, statistics, and related concepts, and I've seen firsthand how much more knowledge is gained by understanding equations and algorithms in code as opposed to just staring at a bunch of equations on a piece of paper. However, MATLAB or Python programming is not a strong prerequisite. First of all, you don't need to work in MATLAB to follow and learn from the course. You can also just watch the videos, follow along in the reader, and enjoy. Secondly, I've written all the code for you, so some programming familiarity is necessary, but you certainly don't need to be an expert programmer to do well in this course. That said, if you're looking for ways to improve your programming skills, then this course is perfect for you. You can study the code, make modifications, and apply the code to your own data or simulations. You can also do the exercises in MATLAB or Python, which will give you even more experience polishing and harnessing your programming skills. I hope I've inspired you that this is a hands-on and engaging course that will give you real knowledge from both theoretical and practical implementational perspectives about fundamental aspects of the Fourier transform and its applications in signal processing. I hope to see you soon in class.